How long did it take for the Earth to end? Three short days. Looking from this window, it seems impossible to imagine that an invasion took place out there. How arrogant we were to assume that we were alone in the universe, and how complacent we had become going about our little lives while all the time our world was being watched by an intelligence greater and far less sympathetic than our own. To the inhabitants of Mars, we must have looked like germs under a microscope. But we were so blinded by our vanity that we could not imagine the possibility of invasion. It started on May the 23rd, 1953. The date has become as important to us all as 1066 or 1939. After three short days on the afternoon of May the 26th, we realized the terrible truth. For it was on that afternoon that we became finally aware of the uncertainty of humankind's survival. I had been visiting my friend Ogilvy at his Clifton Observatory in Bristol. I had seen with my own eyes the pinpoints of light that burst out of Mars, the red planet heading for Earth, as if shot by great guns. They came to us like falling stars, these cylinders, and when they landed, each one opened. BBC radio broadcasts told us that the nation was in a state of panic, but information was scarce, and rumors could not be believed. Who then were we to trust? Who could we turn to for help? How could we fight an enemy we could not even imagine? Only one fact was undisputed. We were under attack. Not from another nation as in times gone past, but from some far greater, more malevolent power. Their center was in London, where I was heading. When I came to, I found a scene of utter devastation. Alive and sound in body, thank heaven, but how long had I been unconscious? My watch, the hands had been frozen at the moment of impact. I no longer had any sense of time. the city's population would be trying to escape to the countryside. But my brother Ben and my fiance Emily were here in London, trapped at the heart of the conflict, and I had to find my loved ones. The train looked as if it was a child's toy that had been the city's population would be trying to escape to the countryside, but my brother Ben and my fiancée Emily were here in London, trapped at the heart of the conflict, and I had to find my loved ones. The train looked as if it was a child's toy that had been thrown to the ground. The carriages were twisted and crushed on each other, passengers screaming behind the melted windows but there was no one to release them. 
During the Blitz, a bomb had fallen directly on the Waterloo line. This, this looked like a dozen had fallen. for help, desperate for a doctor, a leader, someone who could save them. Guiltily, I passed by. How could I stop for one without stopping for all? 